we'll be creating animations like these in this video. So first of all, we'll be creating animations like these only using Premiere Pro and no After Effects. So before we start the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do that because I keep making videos like this. So we'll jump straight into the computer and let's get started with the animations. So to make all these animations in Premiere Pro itself, you will first need some knowledge about Premiere Pro. You will need to know how to add video to the timeline, to add objects or text to the timeline and how to add basic simple effects to it. So the reason why I make all these animations in Premiere Pro is because you can easily edit them while you are editing your video. So you will just have to double tap and change the text into whatever you want. And if you want like true transitions, you can just duplicate it by pressing the alt key and then dragging it. And now you can edit this one also. So I'll quickly go ahead and tell you guys how this is done. So first of all, you'll have to create a text layer. So you'll need to right click then new item, then title, <clears throat> name it whatever you want. First, we'll have to add a background layer. Make it any color you want. I will make it red and then add text in front of it. You can't see the text because the color is set to red. I'll change it to white. You can add some background shadow if you want by clicking on the shadow button and changing all the properties. And now you need to drag this to the timeline. So now you can see that the title is on the timeline, but it is not animated yet. So you can animate the text by using keyframes. You can add the keyframes to the position under the motion tab, but we'll be using some other effect. So go to the effects panel and search for transform. It will be under the distort bin and then drag it to the text or you can drag it in the effects column. Make sure the text is selected. So you can see that this also has a position time frame and you can enable the keyframes using this clock. So I'll tell you how keyframes work. If I have a keyframe here and I've set the position to something like 40 and I have a keyframe here and I have set the position on this one to, to 279. So from here to here, it will do a transition and it will move linearly from 40 to the other keyframe. I'll just undo it by pressing Ctrl Z twice and I'll delete this keyframe also. We'll create a new keyframe and we want this layer to jump from outside to uh, this window. So we'll first have to set up a keyframe from, from outside. We'll need to change the position on the new keyframe and make it so that it fits inside. So now we have an animation going on. You can see that this animation is very robotic and doesn't look natural at all. So to make this animation look a bit more natural, we'll have to add some curves to it. It feels a bit unnatural and robotic because it is linear. So we'll tap on this arrow button near the position icon and I'll expand this window also. You can see that this shows the velocity of the keyframes and the keyframes are moving linearly and that's why you it feels a bit weird. So we'll click on this keyframe and make it into a curve. You just have to grab this handle and then grab the other handle. So now the layer will move fast first and then slow down as it comes down. So this is how it would look like. This looks way better than before. We'll do that for the ending as well. So we want this layer to disappear at the end as well. So we'll do the same. We'll add our keyframe on to the default position and we want it to go up. So we'll add another keyframe and make this go up and we'll make this curve and we'll make this curve as well. So now you can see that we have set up both of these animations and they look better than before. Now the only thing missing is the motion blur. This is not a separate option in Premiere Pro for adding motion blur and that's why we are using this transform effect. You can go ahead and add motion blur while by using keyframes on a blur effect also, but that would be very tough and it would take lots of time. So we'll just change the shutter angle. We'll untick this box, use composition shutter angle and we'll change the shutter angle to 180 degrees. And that's it. Now you have an animation that has motion blur and is also smooth. You can change the timing of these by dragging the keyframes. So now we have this title set up and we have the animation here. We can copy this same animation to any other layer if you want. So to show you guys how it can be done with an image also, I'll drag this image from the browser and now I'll drag this to the timeline. So now all you have to do to create this effect on the image as well is tap on this transform tab and you can copy it by right clicking copy 
and, and then pasting it onto the image. Now you have the same animation on the image as well. You can also do this for the end screen or if you want to add some random object like a subscribe lower third, you can do that as well. You can change the text on this one as well. You will just need to import this red bar from Photoshop or you can create it using any other image editing tool and then you just have to add text over it and it would work the same way. And for the position keyframes, you can see that I've set it from left to right. And I've used the same curves. So you can see that it is a very effective way of creating all these animations inside Premiere Pro itself. And it saves a lot of time. Because if you were to do this in After Effects, you will have to import all of these animations from After Effects or do all of your editing in After Effects. So this video's notification shout out goes to the gaming bot. If you guys also want a notification shout out, comment down below if you have your notifications turned on and I will give one guy a shout out in the next video. So that was kind of it for the video guys. If you liked it, give a thumbs up down below and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content like this.